Do we have sound now? Let me know if we have sound. Sound, sound, sound. Sound, sound. Testing. One, two, three. I think I have sound now at this point. How are we doing? Do we have audio at this point? Hopefully. The fun of doing... There we go. Thanks. So I was babbling on for a good 10 minutes before I realized you guys were telling me there was no sound. So we should, let me start again. So I'm on my Legends Ultimate. I have the version 1.0. Unlike P-Dubs, who has a 1.1, a 1.0, and everything else under the sun... I've only got the 1.0, but today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, GRS uh, Legends Ultimate Trackball. This is my first uh, prototype unit right here, and right now it's in my version 1 cabinet. We are hoping to make it compatible with the 1.0, the 1.1, and the Legends Gamer, but it looks like in all three of them, the interface is different. So I do have a Legends uh, Gamer, and it did not work in there, so we're trying to figure out why the interface is not working, but it's working here in my 1.0 cabinet. Hopefully, I'll get some of the guys to uh, help me out with some of the testing on here. And uh, right now, I have Arcanite on here. Uh, now, Arcanite is a paddle game, but you can use a trackball for it. So, again, here's a trackball here. Um, it installs pretty much the same way you have to take out or install the Legend Ultimates. Two separate parts. You have the black ring up here on top. Um, you got to take that off and then take the PCB off on the bottom side. So, it's a little more involved than, say, an arcade one-up, which is an easy swap. Uh, there, since the PCB is attached to the bottom, there's a little more involved, a little more you got to take apart to do it, but I'm sure we'll have videos showing you how to do that. And the ball does have multiple colors you can use, blue, red, green, yellow, orange, or clear if you want no color at all. Um, the dip, it's still done via dip switches on this version, but the dip switches are on a cable, so it's possible to put the switches out where you can easily get to them versus you have to get to the, to the bottom of the unit. I do all thank you all for coming in today. But very busy day today. Uh, tonight on the Rexha show, uh, Stephen uh, was in his, you know, his challenge that was going on with Rexha for the uh, the Ultimate Gamer. 
Steven couldn't make it. He asked me to fill in for him. Hopefully, Rex will say it's okay. If so, I'll be on the record show tonight at 9, uh, filling in for Steven. And I have a lot of stuff to do around the house, too. I have a lot of projects going on. But I want to do a little live stream here showing you guys uh, how this is going to work, hopefully. And hopefully, everything goes well. Maybe in my next live stream, everything will go smooth. But at least we have the sound going now. So I'm just going to play one game here of Arkanoid. We'll do some bowling games, Centipede, uh, Missile Command. We'll try all the games out. Now, on my unit here, I do have the... You know, the Tron artwork I got here um, and my Tron joystick that illuminate. My buttons here actually also illuminate, but I haven't hooked them up yet. A little bit lazy. Um, but only so many things you could do. So let me say hi to everyone first in the chat. Uh, Molar, how you doing? Barkura, Alfred, uh, Keon, P-Dubs, and Jen, who came in first. So she gets the, the first award. I um, hope you guys are having a good weekend so far. Sundays kind of stink, though, don't they? Because you know Monday's right around the corner. As soon as you wake up on Sunday, you're like, ah, oh, tomorrow's Monday. And I woke up in the middle of the night going, is it Monday or Sunday? Thankfully, it's Sunday. So I get a chance to do a little live stream and gaming. So um, let me start up a game here. Hopefully, everything will work okay. And again, it is a spinner game, but you can use a trackball for it as well. P-Dubs, I agree with you, man. I hate Mondays myself. So you can see the trackball is working right here. Now, again... Don't take my poor gameplay uh, for how the device is working. And it's funny, when you're a kid, you definitely have better reflexes than when you get older. That is that is the absolute truth. Ah, missed that sucker. And Arkanoid is a very good take on you know the classic breakout, all the power-ups. There was a version on the Amiga called Mega Ball, which I really enjoyed. And that was a, you know, like a shareware game. It was like $10 to register the game. But it was done very well. <laughs> Thankfully, Rexodus asked us to actually play the games. <laughs> to try and, try and win. Didn't do very well. I'm going to try it one more time. A little too fast. I know game over. I know, I know. Let's start up here again. The screen is static. This is another problem I'm having. I'll have to start the game. Let me see if I disconnect this and reconnect it. All these problems I have with this machine here. Let's see if that brings up. Well, sometimes I gotta disable it, enable it here in the program. Let's see here. I go into here and do it this and then that. All right, I think it's working now. So again, Glenn's Retro Show has very retro products. Uh, even his uh, computer equipment. So sometimes they don't work too well. Now, I, in all fairness, I did ask uh, Stephen and Douglas, you know, what uh, what they use for the live streaming. And like, oh, let's use a computer. I'm using Windows 10 here. And uh, we'll start a game up again since I really... You guys didn't see anything. Here we go. Start her up. But I always seem to have some little hiccups in all my uh, my live streams. I'll get them right eventually. So I do thank you guys for hanging around. But uh, hopefully everything's working now with the video. I think it is. For some reason, uh, the video capture card I have here, I got it off of Amazon. It was like it was like 30 bucks. It wasn't anything special. But it looks like when it changes resolutions, the uh, streaming software kind of loses it. And you got to stop it and start it again. So I'll just make sure I do that with each game I play. So obviously this game is more uh, easier to play, if you will, with the spinner. But since I can do it with the trackball, I'm just trying it here as well. And we did try to make the uh, the internal design uh, more robust because I know a lot of people having issues with their Legends Ultimate trackball with the uh, uh, the spinner mounting holsters uh, breaking off. And you can glue them back on. And actually, there's some 3D printing. Parts you can put in there to reinforce what at games put in there initially, but this would be another option if you guys want it. Man, I just really suck. Okay, we'll we'll get out of this game. We'll get to an actual spinner, uh, sorry, a trackball type game. We go out. Hopefully, the video is still working. It looks like it did freeze. Oh, it's still going. Okay, so let me go to game here. No, okay, out. I went out. Even my legends give me a hard time getting out of the games. 
No, I don't want to go back in. I want to get out. Finally. Okay, we are out. So we take a quick look at the chat here. Oh, we have uh, Barkworth says he loves my products. I appreciate it. And that's, you know, the main thing we try and do here is we want to make stuff you guys really do enjoy. Uh, it's not just a cash grab. We want to make stuff here as inexpensive as possible uh, that you guys can actually use and improve your gameplay and last. Now, we really want to try and make machine stuff that you could use in an arcade machine if you wanted to, but so inexpensive you can still buy it for yourself at the home. So I really appreciate that feedback. Um, we really try and make sure that I know it's hard for me to, I got so many emails during the day um, to answer everyone's questions, but I do try. But I may actually start doing videos with just answering email questions because I just get so many of them. Because we really do want to make products you guys want. And you know, we just added um, a new member to the team who's going to help us make some really good products. Let me find an actual trackball game in here like bowling or something like that. So let me get out of the A's, get over to the B's, I'll try some bowling. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't have bowling here somewhere. Problem when you have so many games, you gotta find them. Dun, 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 dun. I know there's a couple of bowling games on here. Do, 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 do. Just playing them yesterday. Blazing Blaze Star is a good game, though. I like that game. Uh, da, 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 da. Bonk's Adventure, good game. I probably should do it by... There we go. Uh, we've got Bolorama. I think that's a trackball game. I guess we're going to find out. Let's go into some Bolorama. Hopefully my capture card brings it up. I think it did. Put in some coins. I think the game, it is still going, which is good. Hopefully it's not a joystick game. Yes, I want to continue. Let me go. Do, 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 do. Come on, Bolarama, you're going to come on and you're going to just sit there and do nothing. I think it's doing nothing. Okay, we'll try a different game, unfortunately. He already has a translucent ball installed, which is kind of nice. Uh, let me go another one here. Do, 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 do. I must have passed all the bowling games. There was a Capcom bowling game in here. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry, guys. I think it was maybe it's Capcom bowling. Got to try and find him. That's the fun part. Do, 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 do. Oh, here it is. Capcom bowling. Okay. So that was working yesterday. So oh, go back. All right. That's probably me. That guy right there getting pulled down with the ball. That would be me. So just typical how things go. Michael B., the game genie's in the house. All right, Michael B., we're trying out the Legends Ultimate Trackball here. Move him up a little bit. Start the game. And uh, let's try this out here. About how I would bowl in real life. So you can see the trackball moving the ball here. And we're going to try and get those guys. Got myself a spare. And see if I can get a strike. Strike's what it's all about. No! Oh, no! Oh, man. All right, well. Well, I got one of them anyway. All right, let's see if I get a strike. We want a strike. Death striker. Let's go. One, two... Ah, uh, I see I'm bowling just like I would. Actually, probably bowling better here than in real life, actually. Picked up a spare, though. So, again, we're trying to make the ball smooth, uh, as smooth as we can. And uh, let's try this again. Oh, so close. You can see we have our full motion of the trackball here. And... Bear it up again. And I got a little seal of approval. I'll try to do it with my right hand here. My Tron joystick's in the way here, so that's one of, the, one of the bad things about the control panel, as tight as it is. Oh, almost a strike, but not quite. Okay, let's go over here. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. 
What's up, Alfred? What's going on? Hi, everyone in the chat. Hope you're enjoying your Sunday. Watching me bowl really poorly. Close, but still no cigar. And of course, I got my camera here, but my computer's over here to look up the uh, <laughs> your guys' messages. I'll figure this out one day. Come on. Oh! It's too bad that the uh, Neo Geo bowling, I love that game, doesn't support a trackball. It's only uh, with the controllers, because that's a fun, fun game. Come on. Still no strike. Trying again for at least a spare. Spared it up. All right, so the, the unit's working pretty well here. Um, you know, the install, like I said a minute ago, the install is a little more involved than in the uh, arcade one-up. Oh, total gutter ball. Uh, because of the way the uh, PCB is attached, you have to move some of the cabling out of the way and disconnect some things. But once it's in, you should never have to take it out. Dang it. Oh, I got a spare. I, wasn't, oh, I didn't think I got a spare, but I, apparently I did. Let's try this again. Come on, I need a strike. There we go. Great balls of fire. I hope not. That means you didn't use protection. So that's, you don't want that. Aha! There we go. Can he do it again? Can he do it again? No. Total gutter ball. Ugh. Ah, I see uh, Jen is laughing, which is good. I, I'm glad I'm making people laugh at my really bad bowling skills here. Let's try this again. Oh, come on. That pin hit that other one like five times when it turned. Oh, it did. That's weird. It's my screen. It didn't look like I hit it, but I did get a strike. Okay, what am I complaining about? I don't know. That's typical of me. You get a strike, and then I totally... Can I break 100? Please let me break 100. <laughs> let me break 100, please. No! Uh... Okay, let's try that again. None of you guys will want me in your bowling league, I tell you that right now. Or at least I picked up a spare. All right, all right. At least I broke 100. Come on, come on. Ah, you know I do actually pretty good in the Wii bowling, but it's kind of hard to mess up in that one. Ah, right, I feel a strike coming on. I feel a strike coming on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Strike. Nine, close. Can I pick up a spare? Ha! I could put a piece of paper in that one. <laughs> Shine 2000. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Maybe, if they, maybe I come up with a glowing pair of balls. I don't know. Oh, no, no. Delay. No. I was reading a text. Ah. Come on, am I, am I in 10th frame now? I think I'm in 10th frame. Go for it! I pick up a spare. I'm in the 8th frame. I'm confused! It's not hard to do when you're old. Got a ball! Got a ball! Dylan, how you doing? Brad O'Connell, buddy, how you doing? Glad you guys can join and see me really... Screw up my bowling game here. 
There we go. That's what we need. We need two more strikes. Two more strikes. Got a ball. That's that. <sighs> Just like in real life. Got our ball. Oh, I got one. Oh, I got. Wow. Pretty bad. All right. At least I got a spare. At least I got a spare. All right. Come on. Got to strike these suckers down. Didn't break 100 on another one. But the ball worked very, very well, so we're going to try a different game here. Uh, if someone asks about the trackball size, uh, in the Legend Ultimate, we unfortunately are not going to be using the same size ball in the original Legends Ultimate. Um, we're having some issues with the way the boards have to be designed to fit in here and, and the shape. So it's going to be, at least as far as I understand, we're going to be using the, our standard uh, ball size. But the ring here, if you can kind of see it, covers it up really, really nice. And uh, the ball is not that much different. I mean, it is, it is a little bit smaller for sure. It is. But, um, you know, unfortunately, that's the only way we're going to be able to make it at this time. Um, I and mean, I'm sorry about that. If you really want the same size ball, ours is going to be a little bit smaller. Our standard trackball size we've been doing to this point. Now, let's see if I go out of here. I don't want, no, I do not want to do that. Back. Try a different game. I'll try a different trackball game. It looks like my encoder board is working and keeping up with everything, so let's try and find another game in here. Centipede? Obviously, we want to try Centipede. Classic game. And let's start this thing up. Put some coins in. Bring up the volume a little bit. Uh-oh. Got him. Whoa! Uh, got him. Now, if people don't know, you know, Centipede was Atari's answer to, you know, Space Invaders, as well as Tempest, because Space Invaders was such a big hit. Of course, it's definitely its own game, but that's kind of where the concept came from. Oh! Gotcha! Gotcha! Gotcha, too. Ha ha. Whoa. Oh, so slow, I still can't hit him. No! Whoa! Ah! I guess hitting him is one way to get him.
Am I going to break 20,000? Oh, come on, come on, way too quick. Oh, that might be it. But the trackball feels pretty good in here. Uh, I know a lot of people felt that my trackball in the uh, arcade one-ups were a little too sensitive, so we're trying to make sure that uh, we try and cater it more towards you know the, the bigger games, and this is one of them. Uh, get my name in here. Although I don't think it saves the name, but I'll put it in anyway. There we go. Let's try another game in here. Let's go back to our menu. Try a different game. Check the uh, chat. I think everything's working here so far. Uh, da, 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 da. The sensitivity settings between centipede and millipede are different. Um, with the trackball that we're doing right now, you'd have to modify the settings in the game and you can do that by pressing tab and you can adjust sensitivity there a little bit um, we're doing our version 3 trackball where that will have some ability to change the sensitivity settings in there but this trackball is going to be designed just like a standard trackball and how it encodes the data so it's up to the machine and the emulator to justify how it reads the information but uh, we just tried centipede we'll, we'll, we'll play millipede in here as well uh, but first let's find another trackball game in here I'm sure there's some driving games you know that would work with it uh, but I feel like some missile command I might actually go down to missile command I think duck cuts out here and you can you can play duck hunt uh, on here I should be coming up <laughs> so many games and you never know what to play right a lot of donkey kongs also a very very good game obviously uh, just trying to remember where they there it is duck hunt so this is the duck hunt you know it's a nintendo game but this was on the player's choice but you can use the trackball you're only limited to three shots and i can tell you right now i suck at it so, just saying. Just letting you know. But you can see right here, the trackball is moving the cursor around nice and easy, nice and smooth, very smooth. Not getting caught up anywhere. But let's go. Let's see how bad I play. And I am going to play bad. Still wish you could shoot the dog. But you can't. Ah! Well, I got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. You can laugh. I'm really bad at this. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, I'll get two this time. Or not. I'm always short a shot. Who has a three round gun anyway? Yeah, we'll play this one again. Need some coins. So it's very accurate. I'm, my aiming is just not accurate. So. Ah ha ha! Got him. Oh, come on! Oh. Ha! Oh man. Come on. Nothing? I hate that dog.
I actually made it to round two. That's a first. Oh, great. Aha. Uh -huh. Really? There's no dog for this. What? Ah, I'm doing that one more time. I still wish I could shoot the dog. <laughs> oh my lord. These are the games you want to throw your remote through the TV. Oh my lord. Okay, no one likes Duck Hunt anyway. <laughs> Let's get out of Duck Hunt. But again, the trackball works. I'm just really bad at it. You know, can't do it. Can't do anything about bad gameplay when you play bad. Uh, what do we got here? Then we can show some more trackball action on. I don't know if it'll play. I'm gonna try a driving game. I have no idea if it's gonna work or a driving game. I have no idea. But we're gonna find out. Let's try it. putting the coins in for the game star. So I just threw my money away. I'll try this one here. Gotta go in a Ferrari. But will the trackball work or is this like a joystick game? Oh, it's a joystick game. I hate when they do that. When you make a driving game, it should be a, a steering wheel, not a joystick. So much for that game. Man. Grinds my gears. Fighting golf? I'm not going to fighting golf. Hmm. Probably go down to the games that are like Marble Madness, Missile Command, Millipede. Got some good games in the M's. Oh, was that Golden Tea? I guess we could try a Golden Tea. I'm really bad, really, really bad at Golden Tea. So let's uh, let's try some Golden Tea. Bum, 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 bum. All right, enough of my bad dancing. See so the trackball is working here as well. We're going to one player. Golden T! You can see I'm moving the trackball here and my very fine fellow here is making a swing. He's having a little spastic attack. But let's give it a shot. about right for me. Ooh, hit the ground. I don't know if I'm better at this or right or as a lefty. In the trees! <laughs> Chainsaw. I guess I should turn, huh? I still go into the trees. Would that be a slice or a hook? I have no idea. You could change your... I'm going to be a total idiot. 
I'll go to Wedge. Why not? <laughs> oh, man. I am not good at this game. That should be the thing. What, ga what game is Glenn good at? Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. I'm going to hit my, my limit here. Typical pro for short shots, swing softer. Duh. <laughs> I thought I did it pretty soft. Go for one to putt. Glenn has not got a got anything going here. But we'll give a shot. Now. Now. Come on, I, no, I can't, I cannot miss this, guys. Who's taking bets? Will I miss this? Take some bets. Thank you, thank you. I'll get my name put in there. Show how bad I played. Awesome. After one hole, I am in 30th. I guess I should be <laughs> proud of that. Golden tea! So, do I want to hit like this? Do I want to hit like this? I don't know. Uh, all right. Yeah. I have a long way to go. Hmm. Oh, I hit a mountain. That's pretty good. I got a turn, I think. I'll get my good hook going. I'll just I'll hook it around the trees. Now, I do remember playing this, you know, you get, go out to a bar, you get some hot wings, you're drunk. And I, even then I knew I didn't play it very well, but I was drunk. I didn't really care. But now let's see here. Come on. An iron? Do I want an iron? I guess I want an iron. I don't know. Let the computer pick whatever. And there we go. Lousy shot. I don't know how you guys play this game. I really, <laughs> I don't. I'm in the water. Where am I? In the water. Real? Oh! It's it went in the water. I knew it. Ah. Uh, yeah, I would have broke. I would have totally broken my stick. After two holes, I'm still in 30th. Golf with one on T. Uh, <sighs> sand trap. Sand trap. Let's try and avoid the sand trap. And I go right in the, beach. in the sand trap. Dang it! Sand bucket. <laughs> All right, come on, Glenn. Don't you roll back in? Oh, how am I gonna hit this up on that? I did. Go for one to 
Hunt. I am no Tiger Woods. And I'm still in 30th. Thank you very much, Parker, for the seal of approval. Glenn for <laughs> president. All right, I'll take it. I'm not going to put in three more coins because we'll try a different game here. Because Golden Tee for me is very frustrating. But I know people enjoy the game. But that's a, you really need some friends to play that. You know, to better yourself among, and show it, you know, you're better than them. I'm better than you. Let's try something else. Uh, da, 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 da. I think I'm going to have to go down to the M's. I don't really know if there's anything else that uses trackballs other than Marble Madness and Missile Command. We'll try and score. Ooh. Hard. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Some good looking games here. Hmm. All right, let's go down, down, down. We're going down, 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 down. We're going down, 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 down. We're going down, down the list. All right, let's just get down to the, the M's. Come on. Ah, I'm in the M's. So I'm going to pass it. Do, do, do. No Marble Men, this is around here somewhere. And that's one of uh, the Tech Buzz's favorite games. There we go, Marble Madness. So, can't get more of a trackball game than Marble Madness. You're simply knocking around the ball to try and get to the end. I'm going to put in some credits. All right, do one player. Now, one thing you could do is you go to the menu here. You can go under advanced config right here. And we'll say, yeah, whatever, we set the game. But you can go in here and you can adjust your different sensitivity settings. So if you're not happy with how much movement you're getting on your ball, like in Golden Tee or in here, this is the menu you would go into to adjust those settings. It's not the ball itself, it's inside the game. But I'm going to leave it as it is right now because it doesn't really matter, I still stink at the game. He's a bully! He pushed me. Now this game actually probably could use an adjustment on its sensitivity. Uh oh, uh oh, 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 he ate me. Oh, 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 no! I think this does require a little bit. I'm gonna have to make some changes in that. It's just way too slow. Let's go down to here. Yes. And let's go down to, let's see, I think it's gonna be this one right here. Oh, I'm gonna double it. Yeah, go to 50. I'm sure someone would know the better settings that I'm picking out here, but I'm just going to raise this up a little bit and see how that works out. All right, let's try that again. Let's have a coin. Because I was giving this, the ball a spin, I wasn't getting enough movement on it. Let's see what we do on this next level now. No, he's gonna eat me! 
are all gonna fall off. Oh my god, brutality! I hate going down this way, because I'm gonna die. Oh, he gave me some time. Thank you. Oh, 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 don't! Don't! Oh, man. It's like I'm shocked. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, did I make it? I did. Come on, come on. Nice try, Jack. Uh, go, go! Oh, give me some time, thank you, but now... Ah, the blobs! The blobs of acid! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah, oh, it is a hard game. It is a hard game. Uh, let's try missile command. I like my missile command. Thank you. Out of here. Come on, let me out. Do 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 do. do. Let's see. Do 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 do. Missile Command. Again, another classic trackball game. Do, 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 do. Get a coin going. What's our coin? Thank you. Very smooth again. And although you have a lot of rockets, you don't. There is some strategy. You want to try and knock out more missiles than you shoot up. Sometimes the missiles kind of intersect. You kind of just kind of get in the middle of them and hope that you your your cloud explodes more missiles than just the one. Neck like right here. I can like do that. And of course, your, your left and right missile silos don't launch as fast as your center, so you have to use some strategy in that as well. They give you a pretty easy in the beginning, and then they just trounce you, which I think might be this level coming up. Oh, oh, oh. Still doing good. But you know me. Ah, oh, here we go. Dog meat. Staying alive. Staying alive. Ah, 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 ah. Staying alive. So far. Ah! 
Oh no! Oh my god! Back to the Stone Age for me! So now it looks like I'll be defending my left bases, leaving the poor city on the right to its doom. Oh, they do. I mean, well, still gonna happen. Dang it! No! No! Oh. Ah! Now, now I have no choice. I've only got one left. No, you don't! Yeah, you did. Can I get a bonus city? Can I get a... I don't think so. I think I'm done. I am done. I'm going to play this again because I do love me some Missile Command. Let me just check the chat really quick. I'm glad you guys are all sticking around. Hi, Shine2000. Yeah, I'm, I, I play pretty bad. Uh, not going to argue that one. Third Floor Arcade, how you doing? Jeff Rainwater, how you doing? Okay, let's try this one again. Missile Command, I do like it. It's bad at it, but I like it. And I will say the control buttons on Legends Ultimate are placed a little bit better than they are in the uh, Arcade 1-Up unit that has Missile Command, the, like the 12-in-1 and Centipede. Uh, at least in the Legends Ultimate, the, the buttons are a little bit curved so your fingers fit better than the Arcade 1-Up. They keep their fingers like perfectly straight. It's uncomfortable. But it'd be nice if someone makes some volcano buttons. That would be great. Starts up just easy enough to get used to the controls, and then you get trounced at like level five. Come on. Not doing good. Not doing good! City. I feel sorry for those people. Ah, oh, you suck of a satellite. Oh! <laughs> Lost them. Lost them.
Please go to the right. Please go to the right. Dang it! Ah, oh, you suck! Down to one lone city. Whatever that city was called in the Matrix, that's what I am here. Oh, I think I just made that level. Squeaked by, squeaked by. <laughs> Squeak by again. Go to the right. Go to the right. Go to the right. Thank you. Oh, you suck! No! Oh, crap. Missile Command did me in good, but I, I'm at least happier with that game. I got further. I'll try some Millipede next. Hey, I got first and second place. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's try some Millipede, which we should have hiding here somewhere. Oh, I just passed it. Millipede. We're next to this very dorky looking guy. Who? He'll steal your heart away? He does look like a serial killer. Probably cut your heart out. I can see that. All right, Millipede. All right, let's put in some coinage. And start her up. Died right away. Nice. Now, me personally, I always like Centipede more than Millipede. I know a lot of people like Millipede more. It's more of a fast game, a lot more creatures and stuff, but I still am partial to the original. Come on, I'm gonna get you, sucker. Gotcha. Jesus, enough mushrooms? Saw that coming. Holy come dog me. I am dog me. What the heck, man? Ah! What the <laughs> I'm trapped. I'm trapped. All right, we'll give that another go. I got cremated there. Cremated. Uh, let's do a quick check here. The trackball, the trackball is, it feels fine to me. 
Uh, again, I've never owned the centipede or millipede, but to me it feels fine. But again, if it doesn't, you can adjust it in the game settings of your console or emulator. The important thing is when you do move the trackball, you get a response and it doesn't get you know, caught up uh, or misread. That's what you really care about. Come on. Gotcha. Gotcha. Jesus! Jesus! Get out of here! Oh, yeah! Bloody spider. Just imagine how many quarters I went through as a kid. Just just think about that for a second. How many quarters I must have gone through as a kid playing these games, because I'm so bad at them. Glenn's two dollars allowance money did not go very far. Oh, we'll give him that it'll go. You stink. DDT! Oh, come on, you spider. Oh, my lord. Come on, come on! Man! Alright, I think I have one more coin. One more coin! Alright, come on, you millipede, you. Not the spider. So close to that DDT and I can't hit it. Uh. All right, fellers, I think I'm going to end the stream in a few minutes here. If you have any questions, I'll answer them right now.
Just checking the live stream here. Zohar is here. Hey, what's going on, buddy? He's getting a new Mortal Kombat toy that comes out. It went on your neck. <laughs> Steven C., how you doing, buddy? Uh, let's see. Guys, have any questions on the trackball before I go? I have a lot, of, a lot of house chores to do today, believe it or not. Houses, they don't clean themselves for some reason. you got to do it yourself. No, uh, Jeff, this is the still the version 2 trackball designed for the Legends Ultimate. The version 3 trackball uh, is going to be much more expensive than the version 2. So we're going to definitely release version 2 first and uh, see how that goes. Because the version 3 is going to be substantially more money because of the technology that's involved. It's a, it's a, it's a fantastic trackball. But I also want to always offer things uh, inexpensive with good quality. And if you really want to go for the top end, we'll have that as well. But this is version 2 technology uh, in this Legends Ultimate trackball. When are you going to release the version 3 of your trackball? Uh, we're still knocking out all the kinks uh, in the version 3. The one I just received now for the, uh, the At Games unit. I'm sorry, the, uh, I always get confused now. The Arcade 1-Up unit. Um, it's pretty close. There's still a couple things I want to have changed. One thing is we, for the first time, are offering different modes of sensitivity in the trackball. And we have a button for that. So when you press the button, it'll change between different sensitivity levels in the ball. But there's no visual indication to you what mode that's in. So I want my guys to change. We have a, a lighted ring around there. And for each time you press the button and set it to mode, it should light up one ring for first sensitivity, two rings for more sensitivity, and so forth. So when you press it, you have an indicator of what mode you're in. Otherwise, you're guessing what sensitivity level that you're in. So I want them to adjust that. And also a couple small little tweaks to uh, the, the case itself. So that'll probably be released, I'm guessing, mid-summer uh, before it's out there, once those changes are done. And hopefully that'll be the same case here with the uh, Legends Ultimate uh, trackball. Uh, we're currently also in design phase for the uh, Arcade 1UP Golden T trackball. That's also version 2 technology. All the first trackballs that are going to come out are all going to be based on version 2. Uh, the the Ad Games or Standard Arcade unit will get, I did it again, the uh, Arcade 1UP version and the Standard uh, Arcade Gaming version will be the first to get the version 3 because version 2 has been available for quite some time for Arcade 1UP. Uh, these are the first ones we're doing for the Ad Games Legends series. So that's going to be based on version 2. Again, keep the cost down and get feedback on how people are liking it or things they'd like to see. And then we could possibly incorporate that into version 3. Uh, I might. I can't talk about that. Those NDAs, man, they get you every time. And make you sign those things. You can't talk about it. But I will say um, anything coming from like uh, New Wave Toys uh, or any of these companies... They make some good stuff. But New Wave Toys, I think, for me personally, I just think that for the size that it is, for the cost, you get a, a huge value out of it. And it's still playable. I know some people with really big hands may have a hard time with that. But now they're offering you having the ability to use external controls on the uh, New Wave Toys. So that's kind of cool as well. I'm sure New Wave Toys would come out with the Mortal Kombat. I mean, it's a license that you know people are doing. Um, I don't know if they are. But I wouldn't be surprised if they did. I know the one that came from Basic Fun was horrible. The Mortal Kombat. I, I had it like a day. And I put a Raspberry Pi in it right away. Because the, uh, the Genesis ROM they used in there was, was terrible. It would have been almost better if they just took the NES, uh, Super NES ROM and changed the white to blood color. It would have been a much better game in my opinion. Uh... So I guess, guys, that's going to be it for right now. I'll be, I'm trying to do more live streams, and I know this one still, my like, sound didn't work right, and my HDMI encoder didn't work right. But I think overall, I'm getting a couple of camera angles working. I'm getting the streaming uh, text to work. So maybe the next couple of uh, live streams get even better. I am trying to get better equipment in here to do this stuff. It's all out of my own pocket. I don't really make, I don't have any Patreon or any way of getting income uh, for my channel. I just use whatever I have around usually. And if I have looks extra money, uh, I'll buy something on the side. And all these stuff we make for the, uh, the controls, we put back into the company to make more. So I'm, I'm a, not a pauper. I'm not poor, but I'm definitely not using my channel, you know, to, uh, 
to buy stuff for it. If I have st cameras and stuff I have lying around, I try and make it work. But I, I want to thank you guys. Do one last quick check of the chat here. Uh, Keon, he collects New Wave toys, minis. I, I have them all myself. And actually, the, I think the only one I don't have was the beat-up version of the Asteroids. Um, I just really didn't have any reason to buy that one. Of course, I probably should have bought it anyway for collecting purposes. But I did end up buying both 1942 and 1943. So... If they do have a busted up asteroid, maybe we'll go back and get that too, just because it's the collection and I'm a freak like that. So I do want to thank you guys for watching again. Uh, I'll try and make my live streams better, I promise. I'm working on it. Um, I'm gonna might be on the uh, the Rexha show tonight, covering in for Steven, the Tech Buzz, uh, in his show of shows this evening at 9 o'clock. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be in it. Uh, that depends on Rex, because Steven couldn't make it. But if, uh, even if I don't go in, uh, Rexha puts on a great show at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. I highly recommend you guys check that show out. Um, it puts on a really, really good show. Um, I want to thank you guys again for watching, spending some time with me today. Go have some fun gaming, spend time with your family. And remember, game on, my friends. arcade fan page. Remember, don't admire people too much. They'll disappoint you. Sit, blue, blue, sit. Good dog.